Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our bacon and eggs run here on Elm Creek. I should say continue. We're, we're coming to a close. I don't know exactly when the close will be. I'm predict predicting December, but I do have some stuff to sell off and things like that, too. I, I kind of want to close out the farm and kind of see where we're at financially and things of that nature. So I did go ahead and put the cut sugar beets into here. I do need to make sure that is turned on. Activate. So we got three different things running. It doesn't hold that much sugar beet cut or cut sugar beets, so uh, yeah, it just is what it is. But um, that is that. I think we're ready to fast forward to August, which is a harvest sorghum month for us. Let's go. Get a little bit more money from that. Not a lot, honestly. It's actually half the produ uh, production of the manure from that uh, cut sugar beets, but it's something, right? It's, it's got to be better than selling the sugar beets on their own, probably, I would imagine. Um, let's see, can we see how much money we made? Uh, it's hard to tell how much money we made compared to what we normally do because it's, it's kind of fluctuates sometimes. But uh, let's see, let's go ahead and make sure we empty out the rest of this. I mean, it will take us a long time to empty out all the sugar beets if we go this route. So we may not, this may not be our long term, like permanent solution of getting rid of all our sugar beets. But we'll start with this and see where it gets us. Um, let me go ahead and get the uh, harvester started. Honestly, we should probably just start selling off some crops at this point. Pigs should have enough food to last until December. So if we've got a re reasonably good price for some crops, we might go ahead and start selling some of those off. Or at least as good a price as we're going to get between now and December. Let's put it that way. Let me check that real quick. Um, come back up here. Uh, I don't know that we're going to set it, put any more in the chickens either. So honestly, anything. Best month here is for December. So that's good. December for barley. That's great. Canola is November. That's awesome. That's coming up. Sorghum is January. Uh, we might just sell that in December. It's pretty good price there as well. Sunflowers is February or September. So we'll probably sell it in September. Uh, soybeans is June. So it's actually going down. So probably need to go ahead and sell whatever soybeans we got now. Because uh, it's going to be about as good a price as it's going to get. Which is it's just not going to get any better between now and then. And then corn is... Uh, second best is December. So we'll come back in December and look at that. Nothing else that we have is worth anything. Again, straw is December as well. December's going to be a very busy month for us. Um, no, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and sell as much soybeans as we can. I assume the best place is um, on the train. Yeah, it's going to be the train figures. All right, we'll get that sold off. Um, what, what about the honey? Um, thankfully, the eggs will come up in November. Honey, the next best place would be... Honestly, just the closer we get to, to March or to February or March, whatever is going to be a good price. So we'll sell that in December, most likely. Don't expect the price to get any better, so we'll just go ahead and lease the train as is.
How much space do we have for uh, sugar beets? We really just don't have any. I'll grab some of the manure with this thing. Drop off what I can with that. Oh, that thing's only going to hold about another 10,000 liters of manure anyway. How much manure do we actually have? Where's the manure? Did I, I know I missed it, right? There it is. 11,000 liters. Okay, I'm not actually not going to fill up the manure right now because I don't want to hold up this trailer. Uh, I'm going to need this trailer for uh, the uh, sorghum here in a moment. Which probably means I need to make the trailer bigger again. Thankfully, that's easy enough to do. Oh, I should have sold off the sugar beet stuff because we're not going to be using it. I will grab that tractor here in a moment and go sell that stuff right away. I guess for that matter, we're going to be not going to be using the planter anymore either. Start fair. We'll start ferrying some of that stuff over. Okay. Um, in fact, we won't be using the straw anymore. So we can start. Well, we can't. We're not going to sell it yet. So never mind about that, I guess. Uh, the lime, I guess we can sell that off. I mean, if there was a way for me to um, see how much the farm was worth without doing all this, I probably would go that route. And maybe I could dig into the files and find out, but eh, it's fine. We'll get everything sold off and just, just, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. All right, let's see. Can you make your way to the sell point on your own, my friend? Looks like you're going to be okay. Um, how are the pigs... No reproduction yet. We will be selling. Uh, right. We'll still be selling these before. Before they get to 24 months. I think so. Right. August, September, October, November. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Pretty close to it. My brain is not working on the math very well. I don't know if there's. Any, yeah. There's no reason to keep filling this up. Is there? In fact, there's no reason to even have this anymore. So on that note. You go get sold right away. We didn't use you very long, but I, I honestly, I'm never going to use this thing again. I was kind of glad to get it for now, though. I think I mentioned that when I bought it. A vehicle I've never used before will have no reason to use again. It's it was fine just playing around with for once. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, I was like, why are you waiting for the train? Because I rented the train. One second, buddy. I promise. Hold your horses. You're really pushing it against that, aren't you? Is that even going to raise up? There it goes. There you go. Technically, we could sell that far field and this, this barley field, but we're... We're, we are using that still for the biogas plant, so I'll leave it for now. I mean, I could run the biogas plant on a field on a fields that I don't own, but 
I'll be, I think it'll be fine just holding on to it for a little bit longer. Let's see here. We want to repair you, repaint you, and then sell you. Same with you, repair, repaint, and sell. And the reason we repaint is because, I think I've mentioned this before, but by repainting it, you get a little bit more, you get more for selling it than you spent on repainting it. Does that make sense? This thing's gonna be worth so much. I mean, it's not gonna be worth near as much as we paid for, but it's gonna be worth a lot relative to where we're at right now. Everything must go. Sell, sell, sell. Eleven fifty one thousand dollars to repaint. Oh my. That is expensive. We don't come anywhere close to getting out of debt with all this. There's no way. Not when that thing right there just sold for so little. Um pay as much as we can. I guess the one bad thing about selling this stuff this soon is that I don't actually know what our number was for the year. Oh well. you back to the farm um you're good you're gonna move over to soybeans or sunflowers next so we'll do soybeans just because it's the same header Uh, I think I said we could sell the cedar. And the planter, which is actually over there, I just realized. Uh, and the cultivators. Yeah, I guess we sell all that stuff. that matter we can sell this building right here because we're not doing anything with any of those silos anymore right yeah uh which would be down here i think we could hopefully we can sell it with stuff inside it okay get 
stuff. Apparently that gave us a refund on the stuff that was inside it. That's actually very helpful. <laughs> very convenient. All right, you're good. Um, You're good for the moment. Any point in putting more sugar beets over here? Not really. I guess I'll grab whatever manure I can because I'm not going to be picking up anything else right this second anyway. Actually, you know what? Never mind. You're going to just grab the planter. Get that taken care of real quick. And the herbicide. Actually, we can take care of that as well. Oh, I gotta borrow some money back, actually. Be able to repair or repaint this thing. Just to confirm, 36,000 bucks, which added to the 68 would put it at 90, 104, almost 105,000 bucks. And it's 108, so it's not much, but it's technically a little bit more if you repaint it. Anything else that we're going to be selling right now? I guess, like I said, I guess the cultivators and stuff might as well. Um, we need all this still, yes. I guess we don't need the gas. Well, I'll keep the gasoline just in case we... Uh, I'll keep the gasoline in the workshop just in case. We got to repair something on the fly. That's going to be fine. Uh, everything else? No, I think we're good. Once we sell all three of those things, we are... Good to go. Yeah, there's stuff sells for so little. There's no way. I don't know if we're going to be even half of our debt is gone. I'd be surprised if we make three million bucks from all of this. All right, while well, I get the rest of this sold off, I'll be right back. All right, I've sold all the equipment that we can sell for now. It's not, not making as much money. It is used equipment, especially heavily used equipment. We've used it for several years. It is not worth much. Um, not a huge surprise there, but still kind of eye-opening when you see it kind of actually happening. I'm going to go ahead and drop off some manure. And get that rolling. And uh, then we're going to fast forward. Not much going on in September as far as field work, because we're not going to be doing any new, pl new planting or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be that, I guess.
All right, so we're going to pay off as much loan as we can, and then fast forward. All right, that's it. That's all we could do. Can it still over six mil? Let's go. I mean, don't get me wrong. Part of me feels very guilty about doing all this because I'm like, oh, all this work I put into. I mean, I could have just left it, but I, I want to know how much it's worth. You know, if it's, I know it's not going to be worth much, but I'd still like to know how much, you know? Uh, okay, so we're not ready to do that yet. Anything we got to do with the animals at the moment? No. Eggs are going to be okay. Pigs are technically going to reproduce next month. Do we want to bother selling any right now? If we sold any, we would sell all of these. I mean, it's technically worth a little bit of money to us, right? To let them re reduce one more time before the end. So I guess we will go ahead and start selling some of those. Just because I'm selling the farm doesn't mean I'm trying to not make as much money as I can make. So all the little babies. All right, let's get you sold up here, my friend. All right, was there anything else I needed to sell in September? Um, it was worth anything. Straw was, again, December, right? Yep, December and straw. Corn is December. Sunflowers is uh, actually September. So sunflowers is now, although we're harvesting sunflowers in October, which actually would be an okay time to sell sunflowers. We're actually going to wait till October to sell sunflowers because it's actually still pretty close to the, the price we would get right now anyway. We'll harvest in October and sell in October. And then sorghum is close to we can get to January. Canola is November is fine. Barley just okay. Cool. So you're going up there. You, nothing for you to do right this second. Uh, how are we doing on the things in here? We could use some more sugar beets. Let's go ahead and go get that filled back up. So I couldn't put any of the sugar beets on the ground on the road. So that's part of the reason why there's a gap there. Um, possibly why it wasn't going to work in putting it into the uh, the back of the trailer there. But in the end, I just ended up just doing this. Just putting the bucket under here, filling it up, emptying it into the back of the trailer. Took a couple, couple loads and that was it. It didn't take that too long, I suppose. Can't even tell if that pile's going down anymore. Really? Why are you not going in the trailer? 
Okay, fine. Don't go in the trailer. Oh my goodness. It was working earlier. I give up. We're just going to dump everything out that we can. I don't know. This may not even be worth the hassle. I hate this stupid bucket thing. It does not work half the time. Well, not the way I expect it to work. I'll just dump this in the grass over here. We'll get it all chopped up, then I guess we'll move the conveyor belt up. Maybe then it'll go in. Truth be told, there's probably already more here on the, on the road than I can actually use between now and December. Ah. You get back up yourself? Maybe. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, these things are hilarious. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get... I, again, I don't know why it's not working all of a sudden now. It was working before, but I'll get it all figured out, and we'll get... I'll get another load of cut sugar beets into the thing between episodes. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.